Oh man. <laughs> I definitely overfilled it. Okay, we've got a little ooze. I'm Kelsey and I am team nacho cheese Dorito. I'm Ippy and I'm team Cool Ranch. Now, I think both are fine, mm -hmm. but I definitely am partial to the nacho cheese. Cool Ranch is good because you know what product's good, especially in the 90s when it calls itself cool, because that was, that's <laughs> what is like, yo, <laughs> I'm the cool snack. So today, Ify and I are going to challenge Tasty producer Alex Traeger to make a giant burrito with This Is The Base. And luckily for us, this giant burrito will be split in half. One side is Cool Ranch and the other half is nacho cheesier. Well, we'll soon find out which is superior. Hey, I'm Alex, and today I've been challenged to make a giant Dorito burrito. So we're gonna see which half of this giant Dorito burrito comes out on Topito. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first half, which is going to be nacho cheese. I'm going to be making a ground beef filling because ground beef and nacho cheese goes really well together. We're gonna start with two pounds of ground beef. Nice sizzle. I'm just gonna crumble this down and cook it until the beef is brown. I'm just gonna add in my white onion. Now that my onions have cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna be adding some taco seasoning. I'm just gonna eyeball this. If you're gonna make this at home, I mean, you can use your own spices. Cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, any kind of powder. All right, so we've got that seasoning in there. It's actually smelling pretty good. I'm gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. So I'm just gonna give this a few minutes just to like cook down any of that extra liquid. I also don't wanna add too much like salt because I know the chips that we're gonna put in the burrito have some sodium in there. So I don't want this to be too salty. All right, so that is a wrap on filling number one, and we're gonna move on to filling number two. So for the Cool Ranch half, I decided to use chicken for the filling, and that's because I just feel like chicken pairs better with ranch. It's as simple as that. So again, this filling is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna get this chicken right in here and start to cook that. I really hope I can pull this half off. It just doesn't make as much sense as a burrito filling. But you know what, I don't make much sense most of the time either. I'm just gonna season my chicken with salt and pepper. And again, I'm just kinda eyeballing this, but there's a lot of chicken in here. All right, so my chicken is cooked, and I'm gonna move on to our chipotle ranch sauce. Because the cool ranch flavor doesn't quite fit within the ingredients of a burrito. I figured that using chipotle in the ranch sauce will kind of tie those flavors together. I guess it's not exactly Cool Ranch. I feel like Cool Ranch is very mild. And these chipotle peppers are pretty spicy, but whatever. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a blend. All right, so for the chipotle ranch base, I'm gonna be adding some mayonnaise, some sour cream, and some ranch. So I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. And now I'm going to add in my chipotle. Now again, these are pretty spicy. The good thing though about the ranch is that the fat from the mayonnaise, sour cream, and the ranch will cool down any of that spice in there so it won't be too overpowering. You get a nice like red color from the chipotles too. Pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my chipotle ranch sauce to my cooked chicken. All right, so now our fillings are done, so let's start wrapping. I lined this pan with foil because I'm anticipating that wrapping the burrito is going to be a complete nightmare. I'm hoping that having the foil there will kind of help me seal it all together. So I think the best course of action is gonna be doing a double layer of tortillas because I feel like it's gonna be easier to wrap. Now for my secret hack. I'm gonna be sprinkling some shredded cheese on my tortilla and I'm gonna bake it so it creates a bit of a glue. So now I'm gonna start assembling the rest of the burrito. I have some refried beans. So the base of my burrito is gonna be same on both sides. The fillings is what is going to differentiate the flavors. So this half is gonna be the nacho cheese and this half is gonna be the Cool Ranch. 
I'm deciding to add the layer of chips now before my filling, just so the chips are kind of like encased in the middle and I feel like it'll be easier to wrap when the filling is on top rather than like loose chips everywhere. And I'm gonna kind of like crunch them down so they're a little flat. All right, this is very ridiculous. So now I'm gonna add my beef filling to our nacho side. I mean, this is kind of reminiscent of like my order at Taco Bell on the weekend. It's like a crunch up supreme. I'm very worried though that I've already overfilled. And now this half is for the chicken. Cool, I've got both sides of my toppings on. I'm gonna give it a little bit more cheese and then we'll wrap this thing. I'm dreading that. I definitely overfilled it, but you know, I guess we just gotta go for it. Oh man. <laughs> Dang it. Maybe I just gotta go for it. Okay, we've got a little ooze. I'm gonna try to flip this side in now. Okay, that is a heavy burrito. <laughs> I'm just going to pop this in the oven and just heat it all the way through so we have a nice warm burrito. Oh, baby! Now that is a giant Dorito burrito. All right, let's bake this thing. All right, so that went surprisingly well, I would say. I know we hit a little bit of a snag with the filling, but what's a burrito without a lot of filling? A tortilla. So now I'm gonna jazz it up, put a little toppings on here, and we'll give it a taste. I am shocked I pulled this off, I have to say. It looks really good. All right, let's get Kelsey and Ify back in here to try this monster of a burrito. I hope I made them proud. Proudito. All right, yes, yes. That is so big. Yeah, is, how are we gonna eat this? This is so large. I think it's just best if we cut off the ends for you guys to try. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my God, so the sides are themed. Okay. Right, I'm ready. That oh, looks sick. Was good luck, Kelsey. Oh, that was spectacular. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> um. Whoa. There's just so much, but it's really good. I took a huge bite and forgot I had to talk after, so. <laughs> so this I would say is more of like a classic burrito flavor with the nacho yeah. cheese. This is a little bit more of a curveball with the Cool Ranch. Oh, yeah, this felt really okay. just like I was just eating a classic burrito. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is heavy. Oh this has yeah, some mine's weight, dense. some girth to it. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. I taste that ranch. Yeah. This might make me convert. This mm -hmm. is good. Okay, give me a right. bite. Yeah, there you go. get in there. <laughs> We're just like communal burrito eating. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the ranch because I like the chicken and the crunch, you know? But I'm not hating on the classic cheesy side right here. You know, it's hard oh, yeah. to choose, you know? It's a real Sophie's choice. I think that I would actually also go with the Cool Ranch because it's like different and something new. All right, this is too big for us to eat on our own. Yeah. So let's show this with the office. Yeah, let's, yes, let's, let's yes. call in the troops here. <laughs> 